So what was working for you guys well, particularly in the first half? And I guess what, what changed in your mind in, in the second half? Momentum. Momentum is the greatest player and coach on the field. When you got it, you got to run with it. When you don't have it, you got to try to find a way to get it back. Um, we just didn't find a way to get it back. We got off the field on third down. And you know, our defense would have stayed on the field on third down. So it's the biggest key in the second half. And in hindsight, I guess, what are maybe some things that you would have liked to have seen to get momentum back and far getting James into rhythm or getting the offense in general into rhythm better? I've uh, just been more productive on first and second down. You know, if you look at it, we were in a lot of third and longs, which, um, you know, they were able to expose us a little bit up front because they were we were very predictable with what we were having to do. So uh, just be be higher percentage on first down and um, and being able to run the ball better. We've got to be able to run the ball in the second half, especially with the lead like that, and we weren't able to do that. Uh, we were ten attempted to at times, but we just we weren't able to do it. So it's on us as coaches and players to make sure we find a way to get it done. After watching the film, what were your thoughts on the running game? You had success in the first half, not so much in the second. I think once again, it just goes back to, to having momentum and having a rhythm. Um, you know, you can tempo runs and within drives and, you know, everything's going and it, it happens. But, you know, when you come out there and you don't really make yards on first and second down to start off drives, it's hard to continue to maintain and feel good about what you're doing. So. Um, just got to be better in that in that regard. Was there anything that Boise State did in the second half that caught you by surprise? No, they really didn't change much. Um, I give all those guys the credit. They did a great job, um, and, and they have done a good job. We talked about that. They're a good football team. Those guys are going to win 10, 11 games every single year. They got good players, and, and their players believe. Uh, they know how to win. They know how to finish games. Um, and, you know, I don't know if right right now we're there. So that's, that's what we're trying to get to. We got to – we got to get in those situations, and our guys got to believe that we can finish the games and, and not relax. I think I think things happen for us a little bit easy early, and um, you know guys were thinking, "Boy, this is easy," you know. And uh, you know when you play against a good football team, it's not going to quit. It's not that way. So uh, we got to lock in and we got to finish, and we weren't able to do that uh, from an execution standpoint. Like, did you not expect to have? I'm sorry, we came here. Did you not expect that? The, did you expect the guys maybe would would not be complacent? Is that something that you guys should maybe be more aware of when you're talking to the guys at halftime to make sure they keep the the pedal down? Yeah, I mean, I don't, and I don't want to say it was all on them. I mean, I take full responsibility as a coach as well. Um, it's our job to get them to, to play well and execute on on a daily play play basis. So, um, you know, I take I take responsibility for that, but. Uh, the, the execution level was not where it was in the second half, obviously. Specifically with Cam, what did you see from him as far as you know, being a better runner using his vision? Uh, I thought Cam had a good game, played well. Um, downhill guy, got, a, got him in space a little bit, and obviously his speed showed. So um, uh, Cam didn't play greatest game. He did, he did a great job in some of the pass protection stuff, pass protection as far as helping us out there. But um, he's hungry and ready. Just uh, just got it uh, out of a meeting with him, so he's ready to go. You're running the kind of tempo that you do on offense. And you have some of those three outs that you had in the second half. I guess how do you balance that with maybe not putting your defense back out there too quickly? Well, you don't go three and out. <laughs> it's the best way to, to not put your defense out there quickly. I mean, we don't we don't want to go three and out. That's that's not what you want to do. I mean, that's that's the worst thing you can do uh, offensively. So, like I said, you got to be more productive so don't get yourself in predictable situations. Is there any thought of, I guess, slowing things down in those kind of situations? Um, no, I mean, we're going to do what we do. We're going to do what we do. We just got to be more productive. We didn't execute. What would what you say your assessment of James was, I guess, after going back and, and looking at the film? There's there's some things James missed. Um, he knows that. He didn't play as well as he could have. Um, there's, there's some things that he missed uh, mentally as well. Um, so we're going to help him grow and get through that. And, hey, you watch any first game. I, mean, I just caught a glimpse of the game last night. You, you get guys that play the first games, there's going to be a lot of things that happen um, on both sides of the ball, offense and defense. So um, a lot of improvement happens from week one to week two, so I expect that to happen. It needs to happen. And what about for you as the play callers? Is your, that was your first game with James. I guess what did you learn about maybe how to, how to call things with him and what did you take away from, from how you can work with him moving forward? Yeah, there were some things that, um, you know, you never really know until you get into the fire with all those guys. I mean, you have no idea how they're going to react. Um, you know, as players and coaches. So um, you learn a lot from the first game, what guys can handle, what they can handle, what sometimes they practice well and they get out there in front of people they don't practice, they don't play as well. So those are all things that we got to assess as coaches and I think we got a better feel of, of what we are as a team offensively right now. So conditioning wise, how do you feel about where they were uh, Saturday? 
you know, offensively, I think we were fine, you know, just because, you know, we didn't play as many plays as the defense. Um, so I think offensively we were fine. We, we got a little bit uh, sloppy up front at times, um, but we didn't really have long sustaining drives, uh, whether we were scoring fast, we were getting off the field by three and out. So um, I think we're, we're good right now from a skill standpoint. We just got to continue to work up front and make sure where we are. Willie mentioned a lot of those deep shots in the second half that James was trying to take was some of the RPO stuff. That, and it was saying to maybe give James more options. On those situations, was it either hand the ball off the cam or go deep, or did he have stuff underneath that, that kind of drilled in? That, that was some of the execution part where guys were, were not exactly doing what we would like them to do on certain plays. And, and a couple of them were on James as far as um, you know not trusting his reads and handing the football off. So uh, that's somewhere we got to clean that up. Not to give away secrets or anything, but, but does he have to keep the ball and, and run to, to make everything kind of click and, and, and keep defenses honest? Does the quarterback have to be able to run the ball in certain situations? Yeah, in certain situations, if they're going to, you know, drop three safeties back there and you don't have your first reads and obviously you got to take off. You know, if they got everybody else, they don't have you. So you need to be able to get us in second and mediums instead of being in second and longs and chucking the ball down the field. Coach Tag said that he would like to have Cam, to see Cam and maybe Kalen get a little bit more touches in the second half. Is that tough, though, when guys aren't, when the run game maybe isn't being as productive as you would like for it to be? Um, no, I mean, it's not tough. We just, you know, it, if you try to run the ball and you're not very successful, then you try other things, you know. And um, came out and we were we were trying to run the football and it you know wasn't very successful, so we went to the throw and we were just, you know weren't executing on a high level at that point. Like I said, it, you see it every week. You know, teams lose momentum; it's hard to get it back. And um, especially with a team who hasn't had a ton of success, and so we got to get those guys where they're believing in what we're doing and what they're seeing and how they can play and, and be successful on the field. How did you think the, How did you think the offensive line? Um, I thought they did a good job, you know. Um, there were times where um, we had blown assignments, you know, and then you saw guys run through and James is having to scramble around and getting hit. So, um, once again, we can help those guys by not getting in predictable situations for the defense. All right, thanks, Good? Thanks. Thank you.